how much money can I really make sharpening shears? You need to set up some things and, and decide what you're going to do when you're setting up your business. You want to make sure you have the right tools with proper training, select your products. If you're going to carry shears, if you're not going to carry shears, if you're going to carry combs and brushes and razors and things like that, decide what you want to do and uh, then decide what customer base you're going after too. You need to know whether you're going after hairdressers or, or barbers or both or groomers or all three. So you can do other things like uh, make medical tools and sharpen knives, things like that. You can decide on what customers you want and then the plan the method on how you're going to do it. Are you going to do it inside the salon or inside the place of business? Are you going to do it in a van? Are you going to do a combination of that? Some people who do clipper blades, they sharpen inside the salon with the shears, bring the clipper blades back, and then either mail them back or send them back. You need to know what, you, what you're going to do and how you're going to work your plan. If you're going to use a van, you're going to have to decide on how, you know, whether you're going to buy new or used and how you're going to fix it up and things like that. So there's a lot of stuff to decide. And then you need to also do some checking on your competition. Know your competition. Who's out there? Are they doing a good job? How much do they charge? You know, uh, ask the customers what are the, what you pay. What are you paying for the, your services? And it may be you know you're going to charge them more. You may be charging them less. Uh, it depends on what kind of job the guy's doing. If he's doing a lousy job, it doesn't hurt to charge more. It makes your customers realize that you're better trained and that you have the ability to uh, do a better job than he has. And then you want to brand yourself. Make make yourself uh, like recognizable when you walk through the door, so you can have a you know your a shirt that identifies your company and, and what you do. Usually it's best to have the same colored shirt so they can recognize that. Uh, at Benica Shears we use blue and, and black shirts. Uh, they come through, they, they recognize us as that way. Uh, we've had some people who wear Hawaiian shirts and that's how they're recognized. Uh, another guy who's an older gentleman, he had a white beard and he was a, a little overweight. He always wore a red golf shirt and people called him Santa Claus. So just brand yourself and make yourself recognizable to people. And then again, like I say, it's important to price yourself where you want to be. Who, who do you want? What kind of customers do you want? Uh, some people charge the same thing, whether they're dealing with groomers or stylists. Some people charge a little less for the grooming shears. It just depends on what you do. It's your business and it's your responsibility to get yourself ready and check out this competition and then go after to the people in your area that you've chose to serve and make sure you do a good job for them. Now, like I say, which to sharpen? Salon shears or groomer shears? Salon shears are usually more expensive and of course the more expensive shears are easier to sharpen. Groomer shears are sometimes less expensive but they are buying more expensive shears now. And one of the things with groomer shears, they uh, drop them a lot because the dogs have a tendency to knock them off the table and things like that. So you may have more alignment problems there. They, they'll use curved shears, usually longer shears too. So the groomers have uh, some problems with their shears that the stylists usually don't have. But by the same token, they have a lot of shears and they have a lot of clipper blades. So if you're going to do groomers, you need to do clipper blades also. Stylus in, in Atlanta, we do mo we concentrate on the stylus, but we also do groomers and sharper knives. But our main concentration is the stylus, simply because in Atlanta, we have 7,000, the Atlanta area, we have 7,000 salons. And even though there are numerous sharpeners in the area, you rarely run into one because there's so many salons out there. So decide what you're going to sharpen and where you're going to sharpen. And remember always, you need to do a good job because word of mouth advertising is your best marketing tool and it used to be if you did a good job the stylist or the groomer would tell two people how good a job you did but if you did a bad job they'd tell ten people at least now it's more even keel because they go on social media and they tell all their people whether you did a good job or bad job so you get equal coverage whether you did a good job or bad job and hopefully most of you are doing a good job so that should help your your business a lot more and remember, stylists, a lot of their friends are other stylists, so you want to get on their social media, You want to, and you want to be on social media. You want to be posting and, and putting pictures up and things like that, because stylists are a very sociable group, and you, you want to be in their mindset when they're, they're looking for a sharpener. Also, one of the things you need to do is take credit cards, and it will increase your business at least 30%. Uh, I've seen some places where they say it's up to 40-45% now. 
simply because of COVID and people are just using credit cards more than they used to. Our business, credit cards are probably over 50% of our business uh, now. I doesn't necessarily mean we wouldn't get that business if it wasn't for the credit cards, but uh, it is definitely a, a large percentage of our, our business and you need to have credit cards. You know, Square, Cash App, PayPal, you know, all those kind of things are great. And as long as you're doing, you know, less than $1,500 a month, those are very adequate and are the way to go. If you're doing more than $1,500 a month, you probably want to get your own merchant account. And those are kind of hard to come by if you don't have a permanent building that you're working out of. So if you, if you want to get a merchant account and you can't get it with your local provider, give us a call. We know somebody who can set you up with a merchant account even though you are a mobile business. You want to market yourself. Uh, Judy Bremer will be covering this a little later and she'll do a more in-depth study on it. And you want to make sure you, you come back on and watch watch the, her presentation on marketing. She'll, she'll do a great job. And, and But market yourself and take care of your business. Also from Judy Bremer's uh, Sharper's report, the average for salon shears is $25. They have the average for groomers at 12 and average for blades is 750. Just to let you know, with us, we charge $30 if we take them, if we go to the salon, and we charge 25 if they bring them to our office. We start charging $25 if they come by and $30 if we go by their place. So, And we also charge $9 for doing uh, clipper blades, doing more clipper business than we really want to do. So just be aware of the prices in your area and what's going on. And like I say, just because somebody else is charging seven fifty, if they're doing a lousy job charging seven fifty, that means you have an opening to charge more and do a good job. How many shears can you sharpen per day is, is a question a lot of people ask us, and yeah, you know, that's that's a question that depends on your your ability and your skill level and all that. I know that in, at a hair show, our son-in-law sharpened one hundred and seventy-five shears in one day. Now he didn't deal with the people. We had somebody taking the shears in and giving them out and collecting the money and all that. All he did was sharpen all day long, but he was able to do 175. Now you're not gonna be able to do that in a particular day. And uh, we talk about, you know, what should you be doing? How, you know, how many should you average and stuff like that? I think uh, 10 shears a day is a good average. If you're sharpening 10 shears a day at $25, that's $250 a day, 12.50 a week, 62.5 a year. If you're sharpening, you know, at 30, 10 shears is $300 a day, $1,500 a week, $75,000 a year. So, you know, you just see, and this is the chart here that will explain, you know, just go around and look at it and see what, what you want to charge uh, and how much you can make uh, on in your income and what it would be. Again, it's your business. You decide how much you're going to charge and you decide how many you want to do. If you want to work, work part-time, that's fine. If you want to work full time or even time, you know, some people in this business are working 50, 60 hours a week and making a ton of money. So, you know, it just depends on what you do. I think if you're working 40 hours a week, if you're an experienced sharpener, there's no reason why you shouldn't be making anywhere from 50 to $70,000 a year uh, or more. If you're, uh, you know, just getting started, forty to $50,000 a year to start off with, and then it goes up from there. So just be aware of that. Um, Again, your year on your income, as you see it on the chart here, it tells you where you would be if you were doing 10 shares a day. Like 10 shares a day, yearly income, uh, around 60, 65 to 70, 75 thousand dollars, depending on what you're charging. So, and you know, do you want to make more money? Well, just look on the chart. Instead of doing 10, do 12 a day, average 12 a day, and see where that puts you. It raises your salary quite a bit. Uh, if you don't need that much money and you don't want to work that hard, We'll do eight shears a day or five shears a day. See what it'll, that that brings you about. You know, you do do about six shears a day. You can still average forty thousand dollars a year. So it's you know, it's a good thing. You decide how much how hard you want to work and how much money you want to make. This is a unique opportunity for people to get out there and hustle and really make a good living sharpening shears. Uh, average annual income for clipper blades. Yeah, this is show you a chart here and, and you can look at it. If you do five a week, different price ranges, you know, uh, it's going to bring in an extra, if you're charging, like we do, $9 to bring in over $2,000 five a week, 10 a week, you know, almost five, 4,500, 15, you know, you're going around seven. So you can see what it is there. We probably average 
and Clipper Blades, I would guess about 15 a week. We, you know, that's just extra income for us, and that's not income we, things we go after. That's uh, people who walk through the door and bring the Clipper Blades to us, and we sharpen them in, uh, you know, it, it's extra income, it's kind of nice. Ken Business, where we're at, pays the rent on our, our offices and also the uh, utility bill. Now that's money we, we may or may not get if we were out mobile, we probably could go by the place and pick up that money too, but that's coming to us and we're, so we basically have a free office because we were able to, we have a place where people can come and drop off stuff and we make enough money to pay for our office expenses. So the other day, Bonnie got knife sharpening and she had, somebody brought her 17 knives and it was a hundred, I think a total of $142 for what she got. Uh, she she was mad at me because I told her to bring in because she didn't like to do knives either. Uh, but you know, that's all money coming in to help pay the bills and that's what you gotta do. Years ago, I was back in the Carter administration. Some of y'all aren't even old enough to remember Jimmy Carter as president, but I was in a grocery store at a grand opening and there was long lines and everybody we had to wait in line for a long time. And I was we were talking about, you know, the, the economy and how things were. A lot of people were unemployed, it was around 12 to 13 percent unemployment. Uh, interest rates were like 18 percent. They had what they called a misery index, and that was that made it about 30 percent. And everybody was really upset about the economy. And we were discussing that, and the guy in front of me says, "Well, I don't worry about the economy." He says, "I've got a job skill that no matter what the economy is, I can make a living." I said, "Oh, really?" I says, "Well, if you don't mind me asking, what is that skill?" He says, "I know how to ask." Would you like fries with that? Or, you know, or another way would be saying, can I upsize your drink? If you go to a fast food place and if the person's doing a good job, they're going to ask you if you want fries with that order. If you order a number one, which already comes with fries, they're going to ask you if you want to upsize. Uh, they might ask you if you want apple pie with that. They're adding to the order. And that's what we as sharpers and independent business people need to do. We need to add to our order. Uh, you know, when you go buy a car, you tell them what brand you want and you know some basic things well would you like that with a cassette player would you like that you know uh, with this or that you know uh, you know sometimes I feel like when I look at the advertisement on TV and then go ask for that car uh, yeah we could have that but you, if you'd like wheels on there we'd have to charge you more so uh, but the point is would you like fries with that is a is anonymous a synonymous with saying hey I can do more work for you and I can make more money in this place. So uh, if you're sharpening shears, you should be selling shears. That's that's the fries you want to add to the order. If you're sharpening shears, you might want to do clipper blades. That's something else. If you're in a, a dog groomer and you, they got to give you some shears, you say, what do you need, need any clippers sharpened? You can do that. Uh, you can sell shears. That's a definitely improvement. You can sell clipper blades. When we are talking to people about getting into the business, they ask, well, how can I make money in this business? We say that number one best way to make money is to sharpen shears, hairdressing shears and grooming shears. Number two, the best return on your, your investment is to sell shears because you're going to more than double your money on that. And you sell the shears and you'll find when you get out there if you're sharpening shears, they're going to ask you if you sell shears also. So why would you want to turn that down? The average profit on a pair of shears for us is about $100 a shear. So uh, you want to be, why would you want to turn down that $100? The next thing is do clipper blades. Take care of clipper blades to do that. I really find that the fourth thing is, like I said, selling shears and razors and now face masks, combs, uh, selling shears and razors and things like that, that can be an excellent increase to your money. You can actually double the gross income you have from your business by selling shears in addition to doing your sharpening. Uh, how much money can you make? It varies on what you do. If I, I, like I said, I said the average shear we, we sell average, is about $100 profit. So if you sell one shear a week, 52 weeks, that's $5,000 profit, $10,000 in sales. And then you can see how it goes from there. $200 for two, three, four, five hundred $500 a week. Uh, our son-in-law sells probably about six or seven shears a week on average, and uh, he makes a bunch of money selling shears. And that's just something you want to want to do, and uh, it adds to your income. Now you have to remember now, like we talk about making five thousand dollars a year profit, you're going to actually have sales of ten thousand dollars. So if you're doing, you know, sixty thousand dollars in sharpening, and you do ten thousand dollars in sales 
you will actually make sixty-five thousand dollars, not seventy, because you get cost of goods involved uh, or more. So you know, it's it just something you you should do. Your customers another service you can add to your customers. Something one thing you want to remember: you do have competition out there, and if your competition is doing things like selling shears. Uh, sharpening clipper blades and things like that and you're not doing those things you have a chance of losing your customer so a lot of times we'll tell people go out there and just sharpen shears to begin with see what what's going on then if you see there's a need to sell shears sell the shears do clipper blades do clipper blades uh, when people come in for training at our offices about half the people that get trained buy some shears to sell before they leave the office and then about half of the people who didn't buy shears call back within a month or two and order some shears because they they go out there and they see the customers are wanting to look at shears and it's just a, another way to add to the order would you like fries with that how do you go deeper why with shears uh, there's some some people think you know you should have pick out you know some shears that you like and go about have about three of each so you have plenty on hand uh, I you know I, I know most people have just a certain amount of money they can invest in their inventory so I think you should go wide, not deep. You should have more brands of shears. Uh, with the way things are going now, we could we could drop ship orders to you pretty quick and uh, get them to you. So we, if somebody had orders a shear that you don't have, by the next week you could be at, back out there delivering that shear to them. And so there's really no need to go deep that so much. Now if you do find a shear that you're selling a lot of, you might want to get two or three of that particular shear but I wouldn't get two or three of all your inventory. Just think about it, if you were going to look for a new car and you went to a, a lot that had, uh, all it had was just Chevrolet's thing, and then you went to another lot where they, you know, or an area of the town where there was a Chevrolet dealership, a Ford dealership, a Dodge dealership, you know, a, a Volkswagen dealership, uh, Toyota, Nissan, they were all there right together. You probably would go to that section of town where you had the larger variety or selection to go. So is to go, if you've got, if you say you got a thousand dollars to spend, buy, like with us, for a thousand dollars, we can give you a variety of shears, 16 shears, and it, and it brings you back about $2,700, $2,800. So I would definitely go wide instead of picking, you know, five or six models and go and getting three of each. It just doesn't, uh, I think it makes more sense to have a bigger variety. Uh, again, when I talked about the packages, we have several packages that we do. Of course, with us, you can buy a single shear at a time. You can buy one shear and uh, then sell it, uh, or you can do the packages. The silver package, depending on the makeup, the, what we put in there, but usually it has about seven shears. It'll have a razor in there. You'll have a couple of uh, cases, brochures, and then you'll have uh, uh, some videos. And when you order that shear, it's it's four ninety nine. It'll bring you back, you know, about thirteen fourteen hundred dollars and you want to uh, each time you reorder you get 15 percent off uh, wholesale so like an example of if you went to our website and you saw a shear that was uh, two hundred and fifty dollars manu manufacturers just price was two hundred and fifty dollars but it's on sale on our website for two hundred dollars normal wholesale would be a hundred dollars you get you would get it for eighty five dollars and that works for an entire year until you get up to, until you bought a thousand dollars worth of merchandise from us, and when you buy a thousand dollars in the twelve-month period, you go up to what we call a gold distributor. When you become a gold distributor, instead of getting fifteen percent off, you get twenty-five percent off. So again, that hundred that hundred-dollar wholesale share now costs you seventy-five dollars. So that gold is where you want to be, and then if you maintain that level, sell another thousand dollars in the next twelve months. You can stay gold uh, indefinitely as long as each 12 months you do $1,000 worth of business with us. So be aware of that and uh, take advantage of that. When you're gold, you're making, instead of making 50% on your shares, you're making 62.5%. So that really works out. And this is the gold package. If you want to start out gold, you buy this package. It comes with a nice case that'll hold 20 shares in it. We give you 16, and then we give you some uh, razors and some combs and stuff like that to fill up the other four holes, probably oil or something. It'll cost you $9.99, we call that a $1,000 package. You also get three of our, our, our trifold cases to come with it. And then you do qualify for that discount. This gives you a nice variety. We have shears in there that retail for $98, $160, $198. Usually there'll be some about $228, and then uh, 
Uh, we all have one that re uh, whole, retails for about five hundred dollars, four ninety eight, and you know you say, well, I don't think they'll buy that four ninety eight shear. Well, that's a, that's that fishbone shear that you see the shear with the teeth on both sides there. That's the fishbone. You know, sometimes a shear can be a, a G whiz shear, and you want it in there. And if they're looking at the shears, and your most expensive shear is five hundred dollars, and they buy a two hundred dollar shear. All of a sudden, that $200 shear doesn't sound as expensive. But if your most expensive shear you had in your case was $200, then that's the most expensive shear you have in the case, and it sounds like that's a little, little, little high. So the psychological effect of having a $500 shear in your case is very good. And there'll be some people who want to buy that shear. So uh, you know, just be aware of that. I know one time I was in New York City and uh, was selling shears, and a uh, lady walked by and I said, would you like to look at some shears? And she kind of looked down her nose at me and said, I don't even look at shears unless they're $400. I said, well, I've got some $400 shears. And I showed her some $400 shears and everything like that. And she loved them. She bought them. She paid $400 for them. And then went on her merry way. But they, she could have got them cheaper, but she wouldn't have been happy. I, I, I still feel bad about it to this day because they were on sale, but she wouldn't have bought them at the sale price. She bought them the other prices. She, I mean, I think she actually came back later and ordered some more shears from us. But, uh, you know, you just need to be aware of that. See your customer's needs. Uh, I don't usually recommend that, but the, the lady just, her attitude got to me. And uh, I knew that if I didn't have a $400 shear in there, she wouldn't buy. So I sold her a $400 shear. It was a $400 shear. But, you know, at the hair show, we had did, could, she could have got it for a little less. So. Uh, but the gold package, like I say, you get the 16 shears with the selection and uh, some other items. And that'll bring you back about $2,700, dollars uh, depending on the mixture we have. And we do blend that towards the part of the country you're in. Because in some parts of the country, short shears sell better. Other parts of the country, long shears sell better. Uh, so we, we try to blend that. And one of the things you need to remember when we set up these packages for you and we send out the shears to you, uh, you can always return them uh, the shear if there's a shear in there you don't want you can return it and uh, you know we'll give you credit for what it, what you paid for it and put another shear in there for you and also you before we send the package out you can discuss some of the makeup is it's a definite if there's a shear you definitely want in there we'll put it in there now if it's a more expensive shear it may affect the number of shears in there uh, you know if you had a whole lot of expensive you wanted to go with a lot more expensive shears then instead of 16 you might get 12 or something like that. It just depends on the price makeup. But again, uh, the shears, normal wholesale is going to be anywhere from uh, 1350 to 1450 and we're going to sell them to you for 999 and they're going to bring you back $2,700, $2,800 so, uh, or maybe more. So just be aware of that. They're definitely a good deal on those shears. Our next package is the Platinum Package. It has 20 shears in it. We have razors in five cases, and then of course you have brochures and videos there. Again, you qualify for the 25% discount, and you'll keep that discount again as long as you sell $1,000 worth of shears a year for, in a 12-month period, and you can stay on it indefinitely. Uh, it's $13.99. It has a couple more expensive, of our more expensive shears in there that they are added to the, the ones that are in the gold package, and then you have some other more expensive shears to kind of round out the, the package thing. So uh, that's platinum level. Uh, most people buy the gold level. We we have, the next will be the platinum level. Then every once in a while we have somebody who wants to buy the diamond level. And that's 30 shears. And you get razors and cases and all that kind of stuff. You still get your 25% off wholesale. And that's $2,000. But it's 30 shears. Instead of the uh, case that holds 20 shears, you get a case that will hold 40 shears and it folded out and it again you get a bigger variety of shears you get some of the more expensive shears in there and it's actually a, a great deal uh, we sell some of these too uh, you know a lot of type of people when they come here they're already spending money on the machine and clipper machine then they you know a thousand dollars worth of shears is a pretty good sum of money for them but if they're, they're where they can they'll go ahead and get the 19 you know the, the 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 diamond package and and be ready really set out to go out there uh again you want to go wide i think rather than deep 
if you do want to go deep on some shears we can do that but basically you go out wide find out what's selling best for you and then you might you know go deep on those two or three shares that are really moving for you again comparing the packages the silver package around five hundred dollars brings back eleven fifty twelve hundred dollars the gold package a thousand dollars brings you back about twenty eight platinum you can see there what it does it shows you what it brings you back and the number of shares are there and the portfolio case comes with it and stuff so this just gives you a price comparison and tells you what your profit would be on each case if you sold them at the sale price so selling shares can actually double your income uh, and selling uh, at a gold level then you can actually 60% uh, uh, of its profit instead of 50% uh, so do not forget the schools the schools are a money maker for you most schools will average about 20, 20 to 25 students in there some will have more we did do a class one time of 240 students at a state college. Most of them are going to have, uh, you know, 20 to 25 students in there. But then they may have several class, several levels. So you, even the, the class you're teaching, speaking to is 25. There may be three other classes in there that have 25 too. So the school itself may have 100 kids there. So the cosmetology schools are gold mines. Go in and do a lecture. We can give you the lecture. On, we call it our shear presentation and we 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 talk about the shears the steel the handle the edges the alignment the ride line and the source that they buy the shears from me that's what they they're looking for when they're buying shears and then we have a section what we call give your shears a spa treatment which is taking care of your shears uh, be able to uh, give that presentation the, we have the uh, PowerPoint presentation basically you can show the power, PowerPoint presentation read it and then add stories in that you have you have your own unique stories we have several stories we tell nice about the school students not only do uh, you sell the students while they're there when they go out they spread out all over town and they'll get you into some of the slots you haven't gotten into yet and they kind of are your missionaries out into the, the marketplace so cosmos school cosmetology schools are great not only for the for the money you can make while the students are there but for the ongoing income they give you when they get you into new salons uh, drop shipping. Like I said, uh, Rich Kennedy, uh, or Rich Kennedy, will do a presentation on drop shipping, and he he'll do a much more extensive job on that. Again, you want to take time to see Rich Kennedy's presentation on drop shipping, pros and cons. But drop shipping is a, a unique way. Like I said, if you bought the gold package, you had 16 different shears there. We have probably about 70 SKUs. So of course, not every shear is in there, and not every size. You. You might have a, a, a Raven six inch shear, but when they try it out, they like the Raven, but they want the five and a half. You don't have that. So you can just call our offices. We charge your credit card. We drop ship it directly to your customer or to you. We prefer to drop ship it to you so that you can take it by and present it to your customers. And I use examples just, just think if, you know, when you go out and buy a new car, and you get up, pull off a lot, you're real happy about the new car you got and all this kind of stuff. You feel real good and all that. And now think about you go back and you um, take that same car a few years later and you have to get the transmission fixed. Okay, when you pull out, that car is running like a top and doing a great job, but you don't have the same feeling you had when you drove out when it was brand new. So you want to get the warm fuzzies from your client, and one way to develop that warm fuzzy is to sell them shears and give them the shear yourself. Explain to them the, the, uh, the, the pros of the shear and how to take care of it. And while you're doing that, other people in the salon are listening to you and you stand a chance of possibly selling some other people. We've discovered that once we sell a shear, one person in the salon, before the year is over, we probably have most of the people in there buying shears from us. And it is something that works. Another thing you want to keep in mind, uh, women buy in herds, they, they like to group shop. Uh, you know, most women don't go out shopping by themselves. Uh, most men usually do or they go with their wives, but I mean, they, if they're going in, when I go to shop, I go, I go to buy. I don't go to shop really. I just go in there. I, I'm looking for something. I'm going to buy it. Now, when I go to the grocery store, I, I do shop a little bit because my wife will give me a, a list of 10 things to buy. And I'm always, I always come back more than 10 items. You know, I'll, I'll get this because it's on sale or I'll get that because I'll, I got a particular yearning for it that particular day. Get this because it's on an end aisle display and I, I almost tripped over it when I turned the corner. Uh, again, 
that's like, uh, you know, would you like fries with that? You know, you, you pick up the extra items while you're driving around. So you want to have things available for your customers. You want to, you can even use our website. Tell the customers to go to Benica.com and look at what's up there. Pick out the share they want. Call you back up and tell you what share you want. You will order it in for them, and then you will drop it by and let them look at it so they can try it before they buy it. That's how you use our website to help you. And, you know, you can tell them, you know, one of the things I would suggest is tell them, you know, if you buy from Benega Shears, you're going to have to pay shipping. If you buy from me, I'm going to take care of the shipping. And you're going to let them try it before they buy it. So, you know, it should be a very good tool for you. And it'll show the full line of stuff, plus other things we sell like combs and razors and things like that you might not be carrying with you. When you have your marketing goals, I say a good market, if you're working full time, you should have 200 core accounts. That means 200 salons that you're doing business with. Now, in the salon, there may be six people in there. So, you know, if you have 200 accounts and six people in there, you know, that's 1,200 people you're taking care of in those 200 accounts. And I just use the, the average, if you average $300 per account, now I realize some accounts you're gonna make $50 a year, some accounts you're gonna make $1,500 a year. But if you average $300 per account, that's $60,000 per year. Again, that's how you get that $60,000 figure. Uh, you want to make more than that, average more per account or get more accounts, you know, however you want to do it. If you, It's very easy to get $300 worth of sharpening per account. And then if you want to make more money, bring in shears or do clipper blades, add something to it, add fries to what you're doing. Bring it, uh, you know, add to that order, bump that order up a little bit. Give them something else they can afford to, something else they can spend their money on with you. Why should they go someplace else? Why should they go to Beauty Supply House to buy their shears? If you're right there, you can deliver it to them and you make the profit, not the Beauty Supply House. So marketing goals, 200 core accounts, $300 per account, $60,000 a year. Want to make more money, start selling shears or something else when you're in there. Now the national average will tell you that there's 6.3 stylists per salon in America. Now I say that the average stylist has four shears. And if you've been in this business long, you know it's probably closer to six, but I use four shears to be conservative. That means there's 25 shears in, in the average salon in America when you walk through the door that could be need, needing sharpening. Uh, so if you're charging $25 a shear, if you just sharpen 12 of those shears in the 12 month period, that's your $300. If you're charging $30, you only need to sharpen 10 of them. That's your $300. So that $300 figure I, I gave you was a very realistic figure, which means you can average that $6,000 a year or more. Good sharpener with good people skills will make a very good living. I know some very average sharpers out there that make a good living because they have very good people skills. Uh, good old boys or whatever you want to say, they get along with the customers, they treat them right, uh, they make the customers feel good about themselves, they don't talk down to them, they have good people skills, they can make a good living with just average ability. But what an excellent sharper with poor people's skills will absolutely starve to death. If you cannot go in and ask for the business, or you can't deal with people in a comfortable way, then you're going to starve to death in this business. You have to be able to talk to people and deal with people. And if you've been in salons, you know every once in a while there's a, a girl there who's just nasty. And none of the people like to work next to her. and before long you go back in there and she's not there because she had to move on someplace else so uh, an excellent sharper with poor people skills will starve to death a good sharper with good people skills will make a very good living now what you want to do is you want to be an excellent sharper with excellent people skills and make an excellent living so that's what you want to strive for strive for excellence now you have to decide how hard you want to work and how much money you want to make. And, and, and I just say that whenever you go into your salon, it should always be a win-win a situation. Whether you're doing business with them or not, they when you leave, they should be happy that you came in, or at least not upset that you came in. So a win-win, the sales call should always be win-win. You should always have a good deal for your customer and you should be a good profit for you. Watch out for your customers, take care of your customers, and they'll take care of you. Uh, I hope this has been some good information for you. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. This is uh, live today, and then, the, of course, it's going to be recorded, and people can watch it later. But uh, at any time, you can call us at our office. We'll be glad to answer questions there. Our number, telephone number at the office is 770-972-4332. 
and our office hours are 9 to 4 Monday through Friday and we're glad to answer any questions you might have. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and hope you enjoy the uh, rest of the jam. Thank you.